Did you know there is an antidepressant that's actually prescribed more for sleep than for depression? That med is called Trazodone, brand name Desero, and it's earned a reputation as one of the most common non-addictive sleep aids out there. Hi, I'm pharmacist Stan from Medisol Pharmacy, where we focus on patient education and personalized care. My goal is to help you understand your medications so you can make smarter, safer health choices. Today, we're breaking down Trazodone, a medication with a surprising range of uses, unique side effects, and a pretty interesting backstory. Trazodone was originally approved for major depressive disorder, but over time, doctors noticed patients were also sleeping better. That's why today, at lower doses, it's often prescribed off-label for insomnia. Beyond that, Trazodone is sometimes used for anxiety, alcohol or cocaine withdrawal, aggressive behavior, and even migraine prevention. So how does it work? Think of Trazodone as a multi-tool for brain chemistry. It increases serotonin levels, your body's feel-good chemical, while also blocking certain serotonin receptors that can overstimulate you. Add in its ability to block histamine and alpha-1 receptors, and you've got yourself a recipe for its sedating and calming effects. Put simply, it boosts serotonin for mood while helping the body wind down for sleep. When to take it? Trazodone is best taken after a meal, since food helps your body absorb it better. For sleep, it usually works within 1-3 to three hours, while its antidepressant effects can take several weeks to fully show. Side effects? Well, the most common ones are drowsiness, dizziness, dry mouth, headache, nausea, fatigue, and blurry vision. Because it can lower blood pressure, standing up too quickly may make you feel lightheaded. And though rare priapism, a prolonged painful erection, is a medical emergency that can happen on trazodone. Important caution, don't combine trazodone with MAY inhibitors and be careful if you take an other serotonin boosting medication since that can raise the risk of serotonin syndrome. Rarely, it may also affect blood count, so any unusual fever or sore throat should be checked out. So the takeaway? Trazodone may have started as an antidepressant, but today it's one of the most commonly prescribed non-addictive sleep aids. At Medisol Pharmacy, we are here to help you get the most out of your medications. To learn more, check us out at medisolpharmacy.com for trusted resources, services, and personalized support. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll see you next time.